All right, welcome back, dudes. We're ready to ravage the uh the Team Gay Pirate hideout here. So let me, give me just a second here. Check out my Pokemon. All right, here we go. Um, up. Oh, I recognize this area. Okay, there we go. A Max Elixir. See if I'd got if I just gone straight ahead, then I would have gotten that. So whenever there are two portals, I like to try to check both of them if possible. Now, see that lady just moves around in a circle, so I could easily get around here and um. And see, how does this work? Oh, darn it! Shoot, hang on, I'll get it. I got it, I got it. So, was it this side, or was it... Yeah, I think it... There we go. Okay, so these are electrodes over here. Um, This isn't the Snugget here, and this is the Master Ball. This is probably the hardest you'll ever have to look to get a Master Ball in any Pokemon game. And I got it just like that, because I've been through this game so many times. But, let's see, do I want to fight these electrodes? Sure, why not? It'll give me some speed bonus, and it is level 30, so I'm only a little bit worried that it'll use self-destruct on me, but I got a ton of revives anyway, so we should be good to go. Okay, so, you know what, I'm not going to fight that other one, because if it does self-destruct, then I'm in deep doo-doo, so I'm just not going to do it. Okay, so, sneak around her, and I have to fight these two guys, so Gargivar and Sceptile, as usual, are the uh, two people in the front. What do you think is cooler? Team Gay Pirates uniform or Team Satanist? Um, you know, to be honest, I do think that Team Satanist uniform is cooler. Like, just because, you know, I've always been sort of a fan of hoods and anime and, uh, the cloaks and stuff. And Team Gay Pirate, you know, I just never really went for the pirate garb. People are always, you know, there's this dilemma like the pirates versus ninjas. And most people agree with me on this one. Um, Ninjas would easily dominate pirates. I mean, pirates, they just don't have that much skill. Uh, yeah, they've got a lot of strength. They can hack and slash and stuff. They've been all around the world. But, you know, ninjas, they're just focused on uh, stabbing you in any weak points, you know, assassinating you from behind, whatever. Ninjas are meant to just kill immediately. So pirates don't have the skill ninjas have, and they wouldn't compete. There's a summary at the end. Ha ha. Ki 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 ki. That's how they laugh. Key, 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 key. Alright, I snuck around that guy and just gonna keep on going. Oh, can I sneak around him? Darn it! No, I can't. <laughs> In crew snacks. Nothing left to do but KO a pesky meddler with my, uh, my single level 32 Zubat. Yes, this will win the battle. Oh, crap, he says. Okay, so I took a serious licking. That was supposed to happen. My mission was just... Okay, so... I realize that licking is, you know, people actually say that, but why do people call it a licking? I've never gotten that. Fluster the enemy and then lower the boom. That's our plan. When I first joined the Gay Pirates, the first thing I learned was how these warp panels connected. Are you sure that's the first thing you learned when you joined the Gay Pirates? I don't know. It just, that's questionable. Anyway, okay. <laughs> All right, Leaf Blade, you and Thunderbolt. You, the reason I'm using Thunderbolt so much instead of Psychic is because Thunderbolt has more power points. And, you know, Psychic's a stronger move on Gargivire anyway. So, okay, sweet. Two levels to go and I'll have Slacking. So very soon we'll be able to use that Hyper Beam. Okay, what's wrong with you? You're not tired at all. I was too occupied thinking about the warp panels. Yeah, the reason you lost was because you were occupied with the warp panels. Hee hee hee. Got here already, did you? But this is it. I'm a cut above the grunts you have so far. I'm not stalling for time. I'm going to pulverize you. Okay, remember that. Aqua Admin Matt. Oh, jeez. So, this is an admin of the Gay Pirates, and it so happens that my name is also Matt, so... I guess I'm one of the admins of the Gay Pirates. Like, I'm a step above all the other Gay Pirates. I'm a really gay pirate. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, well, this is awkward. I guess I'll just beat myself up. All right, Golbat. Yeah, man, I only have a Golbat. If I were really an admin for some evil organization, then I would definitely have a Crowbat, because I treat my Pokemon nicely. Okay, Thunderbolt probably would have killed that thing, but I don't want to take any chances. Wow, speed bonus, plus five. That was pretty decent. Look at that. Okay, so I lost too. 
Hee hee hee, while I was toying with you, our boss got through his preparations. So what happened to you pulverizing me, huh, Matt? Huh? What will you find then, haha, <laughs> going into the seas and uh, beyond Lily Cove? And now I'm immediately out of the base, so let's get out of here. And now I can finally, um, uh, that jerk over here who was tra uh, training his whalemer earlier, he finally got done with it, so this place is open again. Can I get past these guys? Nope. Alright. There, that guy's like, here I am swimming by my lonesome on these big open seas, he says. Wow, a Gyarados. I think that's the first Gyarados I've ever fought from a trainer. Or just fought, period. I don't know. But anyway, that guy's not alone. He's battling alongside a chick right now. Okay, whatever. So, Gyarados uses Dragon Rage, and that's actually a pretty powerful move at this point in the game. But, um, after this, it's just not going to be that good. Base damage, 40. Um, always doing 40. I'm feeling blue. Blue is the sky. Um, what I recommend is, if you can at all avoid it, don't fight swimmers. Because they don't give you jack for money. And usually their Pokemon aren't really that good. Like, yeah, we did run into somebody with a Gyarados, but that wasn't an optional battle. I had to battle those guys, you know, as a step to beating this game. But under normal circumstances, swimmers generally don't have very good Pokemon, and they never have any money. Like, if you're ever going to get any money from people who are swimming, they'll be triathletes. But that's it. Okay, um... I think that's Steven's house I just went into. Where am I going? Okay, this guy, he tells you what kind of Pokeblocks your Pokemon will like. Let's see, what... I'm trying to find a certain somebody's house. What is it? And I... Not here either. Is it here? No, I don't even know what that is. I, I guess I have to go up here. Okay, here we go. Um, what do you think you want? You bet, you bet. After all, a super rod is really super. Um, so one guy, the earlier guy says, well, a good rod is really good. Now this guy's like, a super rod is really super. You, you know, they are running out of stuff to say. Oh, oh look, it's the uh, stalker pervert. Valtor, feeling good? I'm doing great. I hear Moss Deep's gym leader is pretty strong, so I decided to take a look-see. But there's something wrong with the town. People are warning about the space center. I think it could, it doesn't concern me in any way. Yeah, if it doesn't impact my life personally, then I don't care, he says. Yeah, he got a sunstone. Alright, what does this say? This is an intent to steal notice to the staff of Space Center. How are you? We are fine. We will soon visit you and take your rocket fuel. Please don't try to stop us. We will take the fuel no matter what. Let there be more land. Team Satan. Valtor, have you read that proclamation? The, uh, Team Satanist is coming... After the rocket fuel on the island. I don't know what they need it for, but they can't be allowed to take it. In the meantime, why don't you go check out the island? So, uh, Steven's here to guard the rocket fuel from the Satanists. And they're probably going to use it to, uh, you know, burn their way down to the earth or something. I don't know. But in th this coming up gym is a bunch of special attack bonus. So, let's see how uh, Vigoroth is doing. Is he almost... No, he's only halfway there. Okay, Vigoroth. I'm taking the experience share for now. Because I don't want Vigoroth to gain any special attack bonus. Like, because he's already going to have super high stats, so I'm trying to avoid any kind of bad stats possible. Alright, so a brief visit to the Mart here. Um, let's see. I don't use Max Elixir, so you can have that. This potion is wasting space. Um, give up these nuggets here. I could use those rare candies right now if I wanted, but I'm not going to. A Max Potion, I'm never using those. I mean, why do I need max potions if I just have hyper potions, you know? Um, let's see. We're, I thought I saw a max... There we go, max ether. Never use max ether. Okay, I better do a little maintenance and then we'll take on the gym here. So, going to the Pokemon Center and my Pokemon... Yeah, they're healed, okay. I have to check on that a lot. I don't know why. Okay, so deposit the Sunstone. Should I deposit... Uh, to put it in now, so two rare candies... Put, put in the zinc okay we should be good to go because i got enough revives and everything so i should be okay against the gym leaders but these are tough gym leaders that i'm about to face so now I'm, I'm a little nervous okay anyway i think we're pretty much out of time but when we come back i'll be working my way through this gym it's a little bit weird but we should be all right so uh thanks for listening as always this has been episode whatever like 31 i think of my let's play of um pokemon emerald version